How are you, YouTube? This is Roy at Snap on Monday. Jesse's here. And uh, if you guys notice, the truck is nice and clean and shiny. There's this phone number on the door. And then we're going to go inside and see what kind of toys he's got. So you guys come on in. We'll let the wife go in first. Hi, Jesse. Hey, Maria. How are you? So Jesse, uh, uh, when Felix came earlier, he was curious to see, I, I know we had talked about it last week, uh, he was curious to see the uh, Solus Plus. Yeah, it's a pretty cool scanner. Mm -hmm. Did I have one last week for you? No, because the one that you had, you had already oh. sold it. Yeah, we went through a few of these. Mm -hmm. There's a new Solus Plus, it just came out, I guess, a week or two ago. You turn it on. And it's ready to go. So they changed the screen on it. They made it a little brighter. They made it more like a cell phone screen where it's easy to scroll. So if you go through here to scanner, the, and then you put it in demonstration mode. And I always do the Chevy just because I mean, they're very common around here. Tahoe, 5.3. That stuff with autofill, if you had it plugged in, but since we're in demo mode, it won't do it. You know, code scan. We'll do a pre-scan. We're not going to add the missing information. It's scanning right now. And it's done. You can see how easy the screen slides. Where it pretty much cuts your scan time in half now. It's got military grade software on it, the MTIS operating system, I think. Mm -hmm. What I like about that scanner too, Jesse, versus mine, is that when you uh, now the screen, it almost has like it, like every little paragraph, it's got like different colors mm -hmm. versus just the regular one, like on the Solus Edge. And that one now has a troubleshooting mode on it that's easy to find. Now our old scanners had troubleshooting mode, but they're kind of hard to get to. Okay. That one, they made it easier. They also put some help displays on it to make it really easy for you to set up your auto authorization before I sort and get your security link set up. Okay. So I do notice that it's uh, on the speed, it's a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. It's, so this model is two models newer than ours. Right, we had the Legend that came out, and now we're on the Plus. Mm -hmm. I really like the Plus scanner, it works very well. Mm -hmm. And they kept it the same size, so whoever had the old scanner is, is just an upgrade of it. Well, unlike if you're outside scanning a car, that one you can actually see the screen on. Mm -hmm. Like on this one, in, in this case, like for example, when I got mine, it came with like the connection and and the, the, the disc for, I guess, if you wanted to see for yourself how it worked, like the yeah. owner's man. It, it comes with all of that? Well, I don't think it comes with a disc, really, because now everything's it's online. Online. And we also do, like, diagnostic learning programs are being logged on. It's a Zoom thing where, I think, once a month they do it. Mm -hmm. And there's a ton of online classes for scanners. Uh, you know that's the difference, and that's why we went with Snap-on because we could have we could have bought one from Amazon. A lot of the guys are like, "Well, you can pay six hundred dollars for an hotel." The difference between the two, at least for me, is that with Snap-on, like if I'm working on something and I don't understand it, I can call customer service and they'll tell me do this, punch here, go there, mm -hmm. and you're done. And it's like the other companies don't offer that. Well, the Altels are a good scanner. I sell quite a few of them. But yeah. they don't have the support that we do. Mm -hmm. Like if I sell an Altel scanner on my truck, when you step off the door, that's where your support is. And I'll sell it to you cheap. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Snap on, we write the programs, and most people use Altel. Uh, as far as I know, they don't write any. And then, and then the snap-on, uh, you know, like for like you just said, if you go on YouTube, 
or whoever purchases the model, most of the time they have like little mini training videos that they show you how it works and how it operates. Yeah, so it, it's got its pros and cons. I mean, if you're not like at a dealer, you just do work every now and then, just like a personal, maybe one of those cheaper scan tools is all you need. If you use it every day, we use it to reset like seats on Mercedes Benz, the a lot of foreign cars. Anytime you disconnect, it'll show the airbag on the screen. So it's, um, I, I guess it depends on where you, how you use it. Well, aim scanner is better than anything else. And, um, and this, we liked it because at the time it was, it, it wasn't something like super sophisticated. It was just enough. Uh, and they had back then the little one that was the Ethos. So um, Josh at the time recommended that we go just a step above because he says you can do a little bit more. Yes. And so we went with that. Because at that time they had the Ethos Pro, I think. And he says, I can, you'll be better off with the solo edge. And we've been, we've been happy. We've had ours for probably four years. Yep. And our lifetime of a scanner, the estimate seven to ten years for updates if you got one. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it's just going to be out of date. Mm -hmm. So, Jesse, if, uh, if you had a customer that bought a computer like that, and say, you know, he does, like, not a whole lot of work, but, you know, maybe enough to get by, and he goes through it for four years, and say if he wanted to upgrade, how, what would be the best thing for him to do? To trade the whole computer for the new one, or just do, uh, like, um, you know, when they upgrade the software? Um, like, no. it, like, for you, what do a lot of customers do for you? Like, you're kind of asking a tricky thing. Like, do, are we, do we have a new scanner out? Like, if we have a new scanner out in four years, the newest is always better. I mean, look at how much cell phones improve every year. But, like, something like this on subscription, I think it's 570 a year. That's both updates. Now, you almost need to keep a scanner updated because your auto auth, your security link, and gateway will not let you in the cars. That's not Snap-on, that's the manufacturers. So if your scanner's not up to date, you're not getting into 2018 enough Dodges or Fords or I think Chevy's got one we saw this Okay. So it really depends on what you're working on, what you're doing. Now if you're on older cars, yeah, you can extend the life of the scanner a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Just what are you working on, what are you doing, and what's available. That was another thing now that you mentioned that, that Josh told us too. He said you want to keep that because I think mine goes all the way up to like 83. So if I had to scan an older car, if, if the program yeah. is there. Now I don't know if it, on the new ones I'm sure you could. It, I, I guess the way I should have asked that question was like for example, if the guys have a scanner say for four years and then the new one comes out, um, do the Snap-on take that on tray like yeah, the old scanner? Okay. I got a solo sledge like that. I just took it on tray. Okay. I've sold two or three new scanners from this company. Mm -hmm. Because some people like having the new, latest, greatest one, and then some people it's not on their budget, mm -hmm. or they've been waiting on a scan tool, but they don't, you know, they do side work and they don't have to have something up to date. Just kind of what do you like and what's going to make you money? Mm -hmm. True. True. And besides the scan tool, Jesse, uh, some new toy that you have for this week that's on sale? I got some new ratchets, actually. I got one up here. Now, remember how they changed the lock on the flex heads last year? Oh, and I asked you on those, too. And I asked them about six months ago. Well, they finally made a smaller one, and they got this size. They got one that's a little bit bigger, and we had the long one out for a while. Mm -hmm. I, we took the long one. That is a beautiful ratchet. And then what I'm doing on these, if you buy a ratchet, you get a chance for the vintage cooler. Or 120. But I like it. Soft grip. And the lock on it feels a little more coarse than the other one. So this is, and it's it's hefty too, Jesse. Even though it's a short ratchet, it don't feel, it doesn't feel wimpy. It's a, uh, oh wow, it's super smooth. So the tapers are the 80? 
Yes, I use all we do in ours right, right now. Okay. And there's a selector know, have, switch. I, I like it. Like if you're working, say you're working on something like, um, like, well, I guess this is new. There we go. So, and I like it that if you're doing like this, that the selector switch is right here, right yeah. up, right where your thumb is. So that's that's pretty cool. And I love the new color too. Yeah, the dark titanium is pretty popular. Yeah, I have this, not this model, the one that's flex. This this is nice because it's actually the locking. Yep. Um, the the gentleman from Coon Trucking, he loves those locking flex head ratchets. Mm -hmm. So if he hasn't seen this, I'm sure he'll love it. Yeah. So guys, this and it feels really nice too. And and I noticed the extra. Yep. The soft grip on there. The uh huh. But they made it like a little fatter, so I guess the. You know. I got a couple different ones that cooler back there if you open it up cooler. So, and uh, Viejita, can you show the viewers, that's that, that's a beautiful cooler. Yep. So if you guys notice, this is painted, you could actually wax it. Yeah. And it's got for your Coca-Cola or your Miller Lite. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's a... Uh, and he does have, look, so he does, have, well, this is your regular locking, and then on the little one, that would be more like this, so he's got one in the green. I got a few other colors, too. There's a long pod, this one right there. Uh, that would be yeah, this. This one right here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. So this almost looks like the regular one, but with a different selector yeah. switch. So this is in the high vis, and if you guys notice, instead of having it, like I'll use an example. See, the old one used to have this switch here, so now the new ones have the selector switch. They're beautiful. It's almost like um, when you order the little pack of lightsabers with the different colors. <laughs> And he also has some in the hard handle, like these little bitty guys. That's a nice little ratchet. This was something that Jesse explained to us last week. I had never paid attention, but they kind of did it like the, I guess you could say like the shape of the screwdriver. So if you had to hold it like this, or if you had to put your thumb like that, it's got these like, I don't know, like entrances for your- Channels. Channels, yeah. And it's also got them with this lock, but in the regular. This is a very nice ratchet. Very, super, super nice. And this electric with the new selector switch. And I noticed that these are really smooth and they flex really nice too. So guys, if you need a ratchet, please call Jesse. I, we showed you guys the phone number on the truck. So Jesse, what do the guys have to do to win this cooler? Oh, for my customers, if they buy a ratchet from me, they pick their number. And we'll scratch it off when it's done. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. This is metal, guys, so you can actually wax it. And I love this polished stainless. That would look good, like for someone that has a fancy patio. It's heavy too, right? It's heavy. Yeah, and uh, and it's got these metal. So it almost it almost feels like a miniature toolbox. And these are the new um, the new T-shirts. Yep. So do do the guys have to buy a ratchet to get a T-shirt, or that's you so sell those? Ah, uh, well, I've been doing just buy anything on the shelf. Viejita and the guys seen everything that's on the shelf. And if you show them really quick too, for the guys that have the hammers, he finally came out with the, with the phone trays. Yeah. So the guys that had it already had the hammers, they could order their the phone trays. And then here, here's brand new sets. This is really cool too, Jesse. You're buying all the charger, the lamps, everything yeah. in that one kit. 
sorry everything's kind of messy right now. But uh, this is actually the way to go. I did that when w they came out with the one quarter. They had all of the all the, the ratchets and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you still have a lot of these. So he's even got them in the high vis blue, titanium. So, um, but folks, those were some of the items that we showed you today that Jesse had on the truck. And if I back up a little bit, you guys notice he's got this really beautiful box with the rhino top. This one splits open. And um, we would like to thank Jesse also for letting us film on the truck. And you guys saw the new t-shirts. And uh, we thank you much and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks, Jesse.